First thing with us is still sports tonight. Before um, I introduce to you the man who has just walked in uh, to join us, let me just go to Twitter and read a few of your feedback very quickly and then probably go on with the rest of the show. Um, CMIS president at Don underscore Kazi says, uh, can a team make changes after the final list has been submitted if a player gets injured? Yes. There's a standby. There's a, yeah, the yeah, standby. yeah, you can. And we had an example in 2010. Uh, John Michael Lubi got injured and missed that of the 2010 World Cup in and South Brown Africa. Brownie Deye was, was called in as a replacement. So it does happen. If a player in your 23 gets injured, you can bring someone from outside of the list to uh, replace him. Olasukomi Ashinyombi at uh, Olasukomi CFCR says, I don't blame Onazi for not reporting. Uh, match fixing is done by a powerful cartel. You can't beat them, so just walk away and keep mute. Well, I may not agree with what you say, but that's your own opinion. And if you feel that you agree with him, tell us on Twitter as well what you feel. But I feel that once, as Onye said, once it is reported that something like that has happened for the sake of documentation and clarity and to save your head, just tell someone in the Federation that, look, somebody walked up to me and says this, this, this. This was my reply. I mean, it's documented and people can look back at it uh, to clear you. Uh, if uh, that situation gets a lot messier uh, going forward. All right, we've made a change. Uh, Tunde Koiki has uh, gone to work behind the scenes. Tunde has, is working his hands um, off because he really wants to get that list. Once he's able to get it before the end of the show, we will try uh, to get it across to you. But I've told him, we've given instruction, let it be authentic. It's either you get it from FIFA or you get it from the Nigerian Football Federation. The list where his name appeared, we don't want that one. The one where on his name, Appeared. We don't want it. The one where my name also appeared. The, the black market list. <laughs> <laughs> Kunle Phillips has joined us on sports tonight. Yeah, Kunle, yeah, do you yeah, have your own yeah. version of the list there? Yeah, absolutely. My <laughs> name is also included. Your own is also on the list. list. Yes. And that one. All right. But Kunle, good to have you on, on, on sports tonight this Monday. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. How are, are you looking forward to it? Ten days. Ten days to go now. I'm telling you, uh, the excitement, um, the thrill is actually on. And mm. considering the fact that um, Nigeria happens to be the only team in the, among the African teams. Oh, they have uh, Yeah, they've released their list, only Nigeria. We were the first to name our list of 30. Uh, and we are the last to last name our list of 23. So the pressure, the tension is everywhere. So it Just balances like, uh, out. There's yeah. no big deal about it. We were the first to name our 30. <laughs> and we are the last to name our 23. So it's okay. They are putting everybody under suspense, mm. pressure, and pressure and all that. Mm. All right, let's go on to talk about something else very quickly before probably we'll go back to uh, the World Cup uh, list if we're able to get it before the end of the show. Oye, um, over the weekend, it was um, the um, Africa Youth Games 2014 in Botswana that came to a close. Uh, for, for Team Nigeria, a lot of positive stories that we can pick out from it. I'm sure you've been tracking all that has been going on. A much improved performance by Team Nigeria than the last time. Absolutely, Tony. Um, the last time in, in Morocco, mm. you know, Nigerian, uh, the Nigerian team got seven gold, two silver and a bronze. But this time around, um, Team Nigeria got 19 gold, 10, wow. 10 mm. silver wow. and 12 bronze medals. Mm. You know, mm. And the team arrived yesterday from Botswana. The DG National Sports Commission on the book being a was there to receive them, you know, motivated them and also asked them to keep the flag flying. And that some of them could be, if they continue, you know, in that um, instead, they could get, get to the uh, representative what, what at, the, at the Olympics in 2016. Mm, 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 you know, mm. so that, that's that's the future, you know, for Nigerian sports. We need to participate in some of these um, uh, international events. Mm. And this play, this uh, athletes are 19 gold, there. gold medals. 19 that's, gold medals. That's, I, I, that's, I watch, that's I watch, commendable. Yes, I watched uh, a boxing event where well, Nigeria uh, was beating. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what you saw. A Nigeria that was beating black and blue. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you should understand. But, but this it, is youth games. Yes, yes. It's, 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 better to, it's better to take part, I mean, than to stay at home mm. and do nothing. You know, because it, when, when you take part in these events, mm. the, 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 the experience will always be there. The, the lack of exposure will not be an issue again. You have rubbed shoulders with the best in Africa. Mm. You can only get better. Yeah. I want to commend the uh, National Sports Commission. We also pray that they continue uh, to making sure that funds are available for mm. the best of our athletes mm. to attend the continental and international events. Mm. All right, so that's a good one. The team back in Nigeria, they returned yesterday uh, from uh, the African Youth Games. Finishing third on the medals table Absolutely. behind yeah. um, Egypt, Egypt and South, South Africa. Africa. Nigeria yeah. finishing in third place. So that's some good news uh, for uh, Niger Team Nigeria around 
the African Youth Games. We hope that this continues um, in the days ahead. All right, let, let's um, also talk, still talking about sports in Nigeria. Today, after returning from Botswana, uh, the African Youth Games, the sports minister decided to pay a visit um, to the National Stadium, Suru Liri, Lagos. They, all, they always do these things. When you, the new sports minister will come, will go on a tour of the National Stadium in Lagos to see things for himself. And that's uh, the sports minister, Dr. Uh, Tamono Danagogo. Uh, coming around the National Stadium, he was not happy with the state of the boxing gym. But oh yeah, we always see this. Kunle, we always see this. What Dr. Danagogo will do differently is take action. Well, Tony, uh, it's like you you preempted what I was going to say. Mm. You know, this, it has become a ritual. You remember that there was a minister that went to inspect um, the road and uh, started shedding tears. And after shedding tears, nothing happened. Mm. You know, so um, I don't yeah, know. Dr. Dr. Nagogo did not shed tears. No, uh, well, he didn't shed tears. Well, like but he looked so, serious. Yeah. He, he, he looked like serious. someone who wanted who, who wants to act. He was crestfallen. Mm. You know. He, you know, how, how will you feel when you get to the swimming pool? Uh, uh, that, that's the boxing gym. I mean, when I got here, it was an unbelievable sight. You know, I mean, Tony, how will you feel when you get to the boxing, uh, the swimming pool, and you are hearing the croaking of frogs? Hmm. You know, <laughs> that means there's water, if there are frogs. <laughs> what about the swimming pool where there's nothing? Where it's growing like a, a, like a bush. It's, the grass is almost like, <laughs> but, like a forest. But really, it's a serious issue. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but but I mean, this is these are these are pictures that I mean you, you don't deplorable, de very very yeah. terrible, deplorable. terrible pictures. Yeah. We went into the indoor sports hall. He couldn't even say anything yeah. about the state of the indoor. In, I mean the the membo, the membo of the national. Membo. I mean the sports that, that, city that hosted the final of the I mean, the epitome of Nigerian of football, yeah. the Nations Cup, the final of uh, Ghana, Ghana, Nigeria yeah, 2000, 2000, Nigeria 99 World Youth Championship. I mean it was it was a diff different different story altogether. But it is seen it, and our challenge is that Dr. Danagogo do something different from other sports ministers. There was even a sports minister who came and started talking about five-star hotels after going through all that he saw. But, but let's hope that this Dr. Danagogo, people have said a lot of good things about him. Let's hope he's able to match his words with his action. Well, we wish him the, the, the very best of luck. Now, let, let's come, let's come um, to um, badminton, the Lagos Classics. Uh, we'll be starting on Wednesday uh, for, for badminton and a lot of people are expecting that uh, top players from across uh, the globe will be coming around. It's a good one for, for badminton in Nigeria and we hope that it makes the right kind of impact only. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very good one considering the fact that our attention, most of the time, attention is always being shifted to some other sports. Uh, but um, with um, this kind of classic, I think it will be an avenue to actually for our players to rub our shoulders with the big the best players in Africa, and of course, mm. this would actually help them towards them, um, you know, ensuring their, uh, that they actualize their dreams. Mm. Oh, yeah, th th things like this, you cannot, you cannot really measure how impactful they can be on the careers of young people. I told you, I mean, the, the tournaments are there to assess these athletes. You can train for months, days without, um, you know, participating in the tournament. It's mm. like you are reading for an exam, and the exam refuses. You no, 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 no exam. I mean, you'll be discouraged. So I, we must mm. commend the Lagos State government. They've come up with a lot of tournaments, tournaments for yeah. these athletes, and you can't get better than this. These athletes will be happy. You know, they'll be motivated to mm. give it their best. They know mm. that uh, they are preparing for you know something. Something is at stake. You know, so we, it, it cannot be overemphasized. Mm. We, are, we are happy that they are busy. You know, they, they, they have a target and they can only get better mm. in this athletes. Well, Nigerian players listed for the Lagos International Badminton Classes believe that they will not be pushovers when the tournament kicks off on Wednesday. That's the press release coming, uh, coming to us. Uh, the highest-ranked Nigerian male player in the world, Abba Enejo, uh, and of course, uh, Jim Kambulos, as well as uh, Victor Makonjola, uh, says the foreigners will not have it easy when they visit. Enejo is ranked 168 in the world, but he says he's confident his compatriots will give their best against their foreign counterpart. The tournament begins on Wednesday, and we hope that you can create time to go support uh, Nigerian badminton players to give in their best uh, in this uh, competition. All right, let's move away from uh, badminton and uh, go on this time to take a look at uh, domestic football. Let's start by showing you results of matches played over the weekend in the Globe Premier League. Of course, before we now talk about the Nigeria National League. Globe Premier League games played over the weekend. We must tell you that there is something good happening to the Globe Premier League. Goals, 
goals are back are plenty. Oye, we are now seeing plenty of goals week in, week out. We are seeing away victories, and that is good. But let's start with what you see on your screen. Giwa, 3 nil over Nimbe was a walkover. Nimbe um, couldn't turn up in Joss. They had excuses of their broken down vehicle and appeal to the LMC to move the game to Sunday. Fell on deaf ears, and so they were walked over by Giwa. They have written um, an appeal to the Nigerian Football Federation asking that this be overturned and that the game be rescheduled because ordinarily, if there is force majeure and your game cannot be played, there is a the license for you to move the game by 24 hours. But it looked, according to Nimbi, that that wasn't applied in their case. LMC just said, look, walk them over, and that was it. No. But, but, but let, let's, let, we'll talk about that later. But let me just run through the results. Dolphins, 3-1 over Lobby starts. If I hear game, all three goals for Lobby. Oh, um, for Dolphins um, in that game. Only this game started on um, Saturday yeah. and, ended on, and ended on Sunday. 